opening past patient images in x-ray vision. Here we verify that the patient is open here, John Demo on the title bar of x-ray vision. Then we can go over to teeth. When we click on teeth, if we click on any of the teeth numbers, for example four, it will show me every layout or individual image that is labeled with tooth number four. So these individual number or images here rather have tooth number two, three, and four, so four is part of that. And then these layouts actually have bite wings in here that have four as an annotation as well. So that would be one option. If you want to open the images, you can click on the individual images. They will be highlighted in blue and then click open. And that will open the images that have tooth number four on them that you have selected. Now the other option in teeth is to simply click in the middle of the two arches and that will allow you to see every image. Images are categorized as digital x-rays, captured images, and some images might have a category of miscellaneous assigned to them. That category, by the way, is changeable within the software. Here notice when we put the cursor on top of the image, the date shows up as well as the time taken and the tooth numbers. The most recent is always shown first, and then sequentially it goes down. So here, this image was taken on 2-28-09, and the most recent was taken on 10-20-2012. Here again, just as when we select individual images, we can select by highlighting or clicking the image and it will be highlighted in blue the images that we want to open and then they are opened on the desktop and tiled automatically so you can see all of the images. We'll do it again with a layout, an individual x-ray, and a series of x-rays. They will be tiled on the desktop where you can see all of the images. Here you could double click on the image within the layout. It brings it up full view. Same thing here. Double click to take it down. That is how you open x-rays in x-ray vision. Taking individual PAs in Dental TI's modified version of X-ray vision. First step, make sure that the patient is open that you want to take the X-ray on. Here you can see John Demo on the title bar. That's who we want to take the X-ray on. Second step, click on Quick Sensor. Third step, tell the software by clicking the tooth number or holding down the left mouse key and highlighting multiple teeth what the region of interest is. Let off. The software prepares the sensor. Ready. Expose your x-ray. Here we're taking an x-ray of a key fob. You'll notice the images return properly oriented. The teeth numbers are displayed up on the title bar of the image. If you're to take an image of an upper PA, you would select Quick Sensor. Anything from five on in will orient the image vertically. So here you'll notice the first four teeth, if they're selected on the anteriors, upper or lower, you'll see it's going to be a vertically oriented x-ray. Here the image is vertically oriented. We're going to tile the windows, which will put these images side by side. If you're wanting an image 
to be horizontal, make sure that either a premolar or a molar is in the image. Selecting five by itself would produce a vertically oriented image, while selecting four, five, and three will produce a horizontally oriented image. To delete an image, right click, go to delete current patient image, yes, and it will ask you twice that we are not deleting images by accident. That's a lesson on single image capture. We'll also cover how to stop image capture. So if you've selected quick sensor, you've selected your tooth number, and you want to actually cancel That's the already. capture, you would come down to this little box, restore it up, and simply click on cancel. And that will cancel the exposure. Click OK on sensor capture canceled by the user. That covers capturing single x-rays into x-ray vision, as well as stopping series capture and deleting individual images. Capturing images into layouts or organized x-ray series like four bite wings or a full mouth series of 18 x-rays is very easy in x-ray vision. There are two ways to accomplish layout capture. One is to click the capture layout icon where it opens your choice of layouts. You'll notice above we have list view, icon view, icon and name. If we go to list, we could choose four bite wings and click OK. I'm going to cancel that operation because we've created a shortcut to four bite wings here that you could click on and it would automatically go to sensor ready. Sensor ready. You'll notice the very first position, number one, is highlighted as that's where you're going to take the very first x-ray. We will go ahead and expose the key fob. You'll see it's processing the image, and it then moves on to position number two. Sensor ready. We'll take another image here. It exposes the image and Sensor moves ready. on to position number three. If you didn't like number two and you want to retake it, simply click the tile. You'll see it's highlighted in yellow. And then you can take the exposure again. What happens is the two images are stacked in the tile. Sense They're already. There and available. Simply click to see both images. And you can choose whichever one you want on top. But after it's taken those images and stacked them in the same tile, the software has actually moved on to position number three. So here we could expose that, the patient's left side. You'll notice the image is flipped. So it will be oriented Sense properly already. for the left side. And now we'll go ahead and take the fourth and final image. When all images are in the layout, you can click done and then you're at the desktop ready to double click on an image to see it full screen double click to see the layout view or double click and simply go through the advance from one image to the next we're going to right click and delete this patient layout And just look one more time with the FMX18. Now all it is is clicking the one button, and depending upon the Sense order already. That your layout has been defined for advancing, 
Here we're starting with the anteriors. You may want to start with the posteriors. We can define that layout for you. But depending upon the order, the sensor will always advance to the next spot. There it goes to number two. Now let's say we Sense didn't already. want to take, we did not want to take this series, this full mouth series. We could simply click stop series capture. And it says you have aborted. Do you want to quit capturing the series? I'm going to click quit. Now we click done. That's how easy it is to take full mouth series, bite wing series, checkup, anything that you want in a layout to be put as a shortcut on the toolbar of X-ray vision.